Hello and welcome once again to 7 Sense Aptitude Prep. I am Vinod. Today we are going to talk about the recruitment process for internship by one of the dream companies for students of computer science and information science, which is Google. Google has announced the internship recruitment for the 2021, 2022 and 2023 BE batches of computer science, information science and related fields. We'll have the link and the application process in this video. The link will also be given in the description, but please have a look at the video to understand and not commit any errors during the application process. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and also share this with your friends as well as in your WhatsApp groups. Google logo is used for illustrative purposes only about the company who does not know about Google. It's an American multinational company that specializes in internet related services and products. Uh, revenue in 2019 was $66 billion and their main revenue sources are online advertising, the search engine, cloud computing and software and hardware sales. It's considered one of the big four companies uh, alongside uh, Amazon, Apple and Microsoft. Uh, control a lot of technology and a lot of our day-to-day um, -day operations on the internet founded in 1998 September by Larry Page and Sergey Brin and in August 2015 Google announced plans uh, that their various divisions would be consolidated under an umbrella called as the Alphabet Inc and so Google is uh, the leading subsidiary under Alphabet and um, Sundar Pichai is now the CEO of Google, uh, who replaced Larry Page, who became the CEO of the parent company called as Alphabet. You could also refer to this if you're shortlisted for interviews. This gives you a very uh, good summary of what Google is. About the position, very, very important that the applications will close on August 10th, 2020. So you have two days to finish the application. Uh, the application is for the software engineering intern for the summer of 2021, meaning that is when the internship would uh, take place. Locations are Bengaluru and Hyderabad. Again, I repeat, it's open for the 2021, 2022 and 2023 batches of B and BTEC, Computer Science and Information Science students. Summer internships start in May, June 2021 and are 10 to 12 weeks in duration. Um, do not worry about whether this fits into the current calendar of your college or university. Google and your college will always find a way. You will either work in, if you're selected as an intern, you'll either work in one of these two areas. One would be product and systems development. Just look at the description that they've given. Seems very, very interesting. Uh, whether it's innovative ways for uh, advancing search quality, building computing platforms and network technologies, automating the indexing of videos, or continuing to refine and scale complex auction systems for their ads. Uh, this is what you will work on if you're in product and systems development or you could be in engineering productivity So you'll use software design analysis for automated testing systems So uh, you will work in one of these two areas uh, for around uh, two to three months Starting from May June 2021 do not worry whether your university currently allows you this option if you are selected people will find a way to ensure you don't miss out on working for Google. Eligibility criteria. The minimum qualifications are currently pursuing a BE or a BTEC or a ME or MTEC or a PhD degree in computer science or a related technical field. So computer science and information science or information technology are definitely eligible. You uh, should have experience in software development in one or more general purpose programming languages. Experience here means working on these languages and developing some projects or proficiency in these languages. <coughs> Ability to speak and write in English fluently. <laughs> these are additional qualifications which are preferred but not mandatory. They say uh, uh, returning to a degree system after the completion of internship. So that is preferred. So 2021 student uh, graduating batch will not come back to the degree program, but that is only a preferred qualification. So 2021 students can also apply. Please do not think that, um, oh, I'm going to get placed somewhere. Can I do this internship? Don't worry. We do not know what the joining date of your company would be. So 2021 batch students also apply. Preferred qualifications with experience in system software or algorithms, uh, knowledge of Unix or Linux, or uh, Windows environments and uh, the APIs. You should be familiar with TCP IP network programming. 
and you should have effective implementation skills in C++, Java, or Python. So the these five are the preferred qualifications. So they would like you to have, but even if you do not, it should be not a deal breaker. Let us apply. Let's click on the link. And this takes me here. Uh, you also get to read. Uh, so this is careers.google.com. So uh, we only share official links with you. No third party, no payment involved. So if you read this, it says applications close on August 10th. It also says here that when you apply, it is automatically submitted to two locations, Bengaluru and Hyderabad. And the minimum qualification and preferred qualifications are here and about the job we have written here specific responsibilities vary by project area and then they've shown the locations on the map and uh, you can apply here so these are the full-time positions in different countries so you need not worry about it now let's apply and uh, when you do apply ensure that your resume is always kept uh, with you so this is our youtube uh, account so let me apply from there it uh, it says from a particular email id you can only apply thrice in a month so be careful when you apply if this is not the account you want uh, to log in from you can switch accounts here and then ensure that this email is the email uh, which you are monitoring for any emails that might be sent by google okay so uploading the resume it says 2 mb max if it's in the google file it will automatically create a copy best to upload a file so i have just created a um, you may uh, I've applied here so it gets uploaded even if it's on Google Drive I would suggest that you download a copy and then upload it uh, and then your legal name is the name that appears on your official uh, document so I'll put that as you know Prabhu preferred name is the same address I'll enter the address uh, that I have uh, and then this is done country region would be India so ensure IND is typed and you select India Bengaluru state province Karnataka this is complete email address just uh, double check that it's the same phone number please ensure this might be uh, initially as the us that's the first thing that uh, you will get change it to india you can either write plus nine one or scroll down to india you will get the india code this is important and then you will get the primary phone number and if you have another phone website if you have a personal website that you want to include here please do higher education program attended university degree program it has to be a yes so the school name can be rv college of engineering the degree uh, rv college of engineering so this is officially recognized the degree can be uh, when you come in here it has to be bachelor of engineering so other options are available but it is not for this role so it has to be a bachelor of engineering and the degree status is currently attending uh, major uh, of study uh, could be area of study could be computer science country region again mm, will be india I'll just scroll down country region again would be here we have country region would be india so this is complete transcript so if you see they would want the pdf uh, of the marks card so unofficial transcripts are acceptable means a screenshot or other version of the document without an authorized seal so it should not be password protected please ensure the photographs of all the degree marks cards that you got and be it one whichever semesters please ensure you take a photo convert it into pdf don't password protect it and upload that transcript so i'll just upload the transcript so i'll go back here let's assume this is the uh, transcript file I just in this is the resume format it's just, just a dummy document so ensure that you convert your transcripts which are the photographs of your marks cards convert it into pdf and then upload it here I'll have to upload something else. It will not allow me to submit. If you are an ME MTech student, you can also add the bachelor's degree here. Or if you're a PhD student, enter the MTech and the B degrees here. If you're a graduate student, bachelor of engineering, and you can move on. Applying for your first job, yes. So this is for people who have worked and then started their engineering. If you have worked and started your engineering, then you enter the details. If this is the first job, click on yes and then cover not uh, covering letter so they've given it as an optional covering letter but we strongly strongly recommend that you write a covering letter on why you want to intern at google and why you are the best fit and why google 
would benefit from having you there so you could write your covering letter here uh, ensure that you uh, write something that would be pleasing to read and would cover these three why would you want to work at google how are your skills beneficial to what google is offering in the internship program and most importantly why would be a strong candidate uh, to work at google so this is where you write the covering letter so write it so you could start off with i you know prabhu you start off there don't know attachment so you have to write a covering letter ensure that if you are writing let it be a good uh, three quarters of a page so that is what you do so i will click on next and assume i have written please do write even though it says option again this is an optional um, feature you can prefer to indicate your gender or just choose not to disclose i will and then I go on to my next page and in the next page it just gives me a chance to edit anything that I want so all of this is entered here I know this is Sanjay Krishnan resume just just a template and then if you want to edit application you go here if uh, you don't have to edit anything if you want to read the privacy policy please read it click on select and click on submit application once you click on submit application it says very short application it says thanks seven cents because that was the email ID you used now your application is on its way and uh, they will review the application and they will contact if the skills and experience are a strong match. that is the reason your resume has to be the most updated one your covering letter has to be good so once that is done uh, this is the job that you have applied to you'll also get an email from google the email from google says hi you know thanks for applying to google ton of companies out there appreciate an interest in joining our team they also say that they might not be able to reach out to every applicant but they will contact us if our skills and experience are a match and they say appreciate your interest in joining google staffing and so this will complete your application process uh, thank you once again for uh, taking your time out to watch this video and we would like to say so you've seen the recruitment process you've heard about the company you looked at the position you looked at the eligibility criteria and we've seen the application process thank you once again for um, spending time with us we wish you all the best if you're applying please do share it with your friends and batchmates and juniors and seniors as well whatever be the case i hope uh, you get the chance to work for google thank you once again and see you soon bye bye